Welcome, Welcome to Tenkara in Focus. Focus. Season 3, episode... Two. 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 Indeed. Yeah. Um, we've just been looking at Kurasan from 2017. 2017, Toyama area. Actually, quite... a lovely little Yamame. It sets the tone for the whole of this episode, really. Uh, this one's really all about Kurasan. A few peripheral characters creeping in there. Um, first up, we've got a bit of footage from something we shot in... 2016, I think. 2016, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, tell us a bit more about that. I know so, you've done your own work. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, basically, it's taken out of a 37 minute lesson. Mm. Well, what we edited down to 37 minutes was about an hour long lesson that Alan, our great friend yeah. uh, and longtime DT sort of supporter, uh, got a personal on stream lesson in Japan. In Japan, from Kurasan and uh, Goishi as well, yeah. um, together. And really unpicking his his techniques and his tactics and just so many things that you can actually pick up on. Small details are not difficult to apply, but when you do, it makes a huge difference, particularly on those technical type streams that we were you know, talking about. And of course, if you can do it on those kind of streams, bringing it home and using it on your own rivers, uh, it just really ups your game and success rate as well. Yeah. So it's fantastic sort of um, value. Um, out of the the, uh, the insights that uh, that were passed on during that lesson, we'll be talking more about how you can get your hands on the whole lesson. Um, but first of all, let's take a look at just a little excerpt from that lesson. <laughs> Alan, don't uh, don't go too high though. Okay. okay, okay, and come back down maybe about to where I'm standing, and you can get closer and approach that section. That over right the far there. side. Yes, yes. Where we... Right there is good. Right there is good. That's good. Right. Alan? <clears throat> okay. You're probably ready to approach. You want to come up a little bit higher? Yeah. Um, maybe you can stand here if that's a good spot. So you can, I should, oh, back up a bit. And see if you can make a cast to the other side. And the, the advantage of having this position is you can... Remember what I talked about letting the flag go downstream first? Yeah. Right? You can be parallel to the spot. And if you made a cast, and ended up with the rod tip up, right, up, right, up okay. steam. See, I'm not going to tangle. Okay. So when you fish upstream, the downside is you always have to have the tippet in the water first, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can move up a bit. I mean, you can move forward a bit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful! Oui. Oh, little Iwana! Iwana! I, I just put it back. There we go. Hey! It's gone! <laughs> it's gone! It's gone! Good! There we go! A result! <laughs> 
So there it was, just a fragment of uh, a great lesson on stream with Kurasan, Gawishi and Alan Swan, the pupil. Um, we had a group of guys out with us in Japan that year, didn't we? And everyone got a great bit of on-stream time. Um, and it was a real sort of privilege to capture that and be able to share it. Yeah, I think that that one-to-one -one tuition, there's nothing more valuable. Um, yeah. But the next best thing is obviously to be able to kind of dissect it in detail yeah, afterwards. To, to be a fly on the wall at that, you know, you may see mistakes that you didn't even know you're making yourself. I mean, Alan's a smart guy mm. and a good fisherman, but there were some almost glaring errors to the Japanese guys. Absolutely. Well, the other thing is when I've watched myself back, um, either get intuition or just just actually demonstrating mm -hmm. stuff. That third person perspective is invaluable because once you're in, when you're in your own head, you can't necessarily see or feel those mistakes to the same degree. I would say that's been one of the things that's helped you and I improve the mm -hmm. most is the fact that we film each other and dissect it a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, there's no getting away imagining that you're doing it away when it's on camera that you're clearly not. Totally. <laughs> but that <laughs> that does bring us to the um, special. Thingy, issue, I guess, of the uh, uh, bundle that we've got and we've yeah. put together. Remastered um, and reissued. That's, that's what I was going to say, that uh, even if you don't tune out, if you've already got the Kurasan uh, bundle from the, the first time it was launched, because John's worked his wizardry and he's actually, as I said, remastered it, um, improved some of the quality within that, we're also going to drop in uh, a new fly tying section as well. Mm -hmm. So on top of the 37 minute um, video lesson, the on-stream lesson with Alan, there's also three PDFs, there's an ebook that kind of breaks down in more detail than you can within just the commentary yeah. on, on a video. Um, there's a couple of uh, additional things where we sort of outline Kurosan's favorite um, fly pattern uh, and some just more behind his general approach. But also, as I say, we're going to drop in uh, a fly tying sequence of him actually demonstrating the tying of his favourite fly as well. Yeah, yeah. So, um, again, and that's available if you've already bought it. So a little bit of a bonus and just to recognise the... That, that's uh, the beauty of our Gumroad platform. Yeah. Um, it allows us to update things. And for anyone that's already purchased it, it becomes part of your product as well. So you get yeah. the updates. Um, Stay tuned to the very end. We'll have a bit of a uh, an offer that explains everything. If you're impatient, you can probably find a link somewhere now where, where if you must have it this minute, <laughs> you can click through and buy it. But we'll give you a bit of a rundown at the end of the show. Before we come to that, we've got another special treat. Um, you know, we did say it's going to be a bit of a Curacao special. <laughs> um, and this is a bit of a first for us. I think this is probably the first interview that you've conducted in Japanese. <laughs> conducted might be a strong, strong word. <laughs> Shall we say attempted? Muddled through. Attempted. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, it was it was quite an interesting thing because yeah. obviously since we started going to Japan in 2014, I've been trying to just do little bits of picking up some Japanese as we go along um, in my spare time. And it was the first time to really kind of use it in anger, I guess. Yeah, so it was, yeah. it was fun. <laughs> you didn't, yeah. I didn't burst out laughing too many times. So. It, it's, um, <laughs> it's a wonderful setting. We must give a shout out to Kazumi Saigo, aka Ajari, for the location. He's got a, a, a wonderful place to live. It's, it's like a film set, isn't it? Like yeah, living yeah. in a film set. And so here's Kurasan. What, it, what he's doing, um, it's self explanatory once you get watching, but I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> He built his own fly tying chest for kind of traveling and tying sort of on the run. And it's gradually sort of grown and grown from a little project to containing everything he carries, really. Um, so without further ado, let's just take a look at it. So we're going to have a sit down and a talk with Kurasan now. He's very kindly going to show us around his handmade um, fly tying materials box and toolbox. Uh, it's just in a bit of a lull between some of the uh, fantastic fishing we've been having, so we thought we'd chill out a little bit and have a talk about that. Kurasan, hi. Are you going to talk to me about the haku? Yes. Can you talk to me a little bit? Yes. Can you talk to me? Yes, that's right. But, first of all, あ、この色を緑と茶色とオレンジと、いや、うん、それは何ですか。あの、僕何かあの自然のものを表現したくて、あの、たまたま持っていたこういう色を組み合わせて何かできないかなと考えて、それで例えばこれは<笑> 
木です。うん。tree。so these are、um, <笑> colors sort of found in nature and they've got the, the green and the, the kind of the natural wood color and the, the brown color here is、uh, represents a key。so we've got leaves、stem and the, and the trunk of the tree。So this kind of represents、um, mm. the whole of a tree. And it's. Hmm. 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 I wanted to display about Yamame,、mm. but, uh, mm. but I couldn't s o w Not enough color. Sunset. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> ah, okay. Sunset. So, yes,、yeah, so the, the orange and the. Daichi ga a t t e y u y a k e ga a t t e dark sky ga a t t e So, yes, it represents, you've probably heard, but it represents the sunset and the nat- natural、mm. scenes. Oh, I'm not sure, right? うちです。これ、それは、あ、何ですか。で、まあ、簡単な引き出しで作りました。うんうんうん、引き出しで作り。So I think that's that easy to pull out, easy to 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 open, simple. あ、あ、あ、わかりました。まああの。これ作るまではあの部屋の中にというか机の上に毛羽,りの毛羽り巻きの道具が散らかっていてなんとかしたかった、うんうん、それでこれを作りました、うんうん、ちょっと待って、okay? ちょっと待って<笑>、うん、So, so、uh, at first、um, Kurosan's desk, tiny desk was such a mess that、uh, he just started with these First three compartments、um, just to start putting his materials in order. So there's some hooks and there's a few、uh, threads and、uh, some, some feathers in the top here. So these were just stacked on his desk as a way of keeping things tidy. But for a moment, if I put it on the top, I can't put it on the top. I can't put it on t 必要だった。Mm-hmm. I need wide space to make it right.、Mm-hmm. うん、で、mm-hmm. 車の中なんかで、車の中で雨の日に手張り巻きたいなっていう時にちょっと無理だったので、<笑>難しかったので、それでこういう引き出しを考え、後で作った。ああ、わかります。うん、so、um... At first, he, he needed lots and lots of、um, space for time flies on,、um, on his desk, and it was very difficult to, to do that、um, without that. But, but when、uh, it was on rainy days,、uh, when he was out on fishing trips,、um, he would have his fly time materials in his car, and obviously, it was a little difficult to have these boxes and drawers、um, just loose like that, so he kind of needed a better system. でも、それ以降、はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。まあ、これ見ての通り道具がた,たくさん入ってます。うんうん、で,で,す、ねうん、であのあ訳さなくていいあえっ、ー、とあの毛張りをもう一種類しか使わないっていう人もいるけれども<笑>僕はあの別にその必要もなくて。あまりこだわりがない方です。うん、ただあだからあのいろんな材料があるんだけれどもあの釣り場に行ってあの釣りをしてイメージを
してその晩にそのイメージで毛針を巻くっていうのをやりたかった。So Kurosan is saying that he doesn't really stick to the idea of、uh, the one fly approach.、Um, he's much more keen to experiment with many different patterns so they can find the most suitable one for the situation. But rather than、um, sitting down to create flies and then take them fishing with him, What he prefers to do and what he's much more motivated by is to go out on a fishing trip and work out just what the fish you know, wanted on that particular day, the characteristics in the fly that would allow him to make that presentation, then come home and use the materials that he had or get the materials that he needed to create those flies.、Um, So they, they, were, they were kind of pre qualified、um, by the fishing experience before he decided on what sort of patterns he'd like to tie, which I think is a wonderful、um, way to do things. <laughs> mm, mm. So, when. Ah, I'm not sure. Barbarous maker. Ah, <laughs> yes, so obviously there is a barbarous hook pliers、um, to crush down if you can only get barbed hooks to actually make them super kind of、uh, smooth and take the barb off.、Mm. And there was the two whip finish tools in there. Oh, see, my son. そんな変わったものはないです。うん、うん、あのあこれがあれだね。あのエルクヘアカーディス作る時の。ああ、OK <笑>、うん。So、um, everything on top are the tools that、um, Kurosan uses most frequently, and some of the things he only uses from time to time are actually in the, the compartments、um, underneath the ones that you can see on top there. There's an interesting one where there's actually a very small comb. Um, that he uses to brush the fibers of、um, an LK a caddis wing,、um, which is, is in one of the most commonly used slots, so that's,、uh, mm. that's quite interesting. Mm. Okay, so there's different kinds of materials、um, in here that, that we have. I mean, I can see some. ピーカーカウフォーボディ。日本で、ケバリーボーディはいいですか、うん、と、ケバリーカラダが。うん、えっとね、ドドドドドはい。OK <笑>。So the word for a fly body is a ド、um, which is different from the body that we would use to describe. Um, animals that we use in, in English that term.、Mm. And we say minoge for hacker. Minoge? Yeah. Ah,、mm. okay. I didn't know that. Minoge, <laughs> 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 って言います。で、で巻くから、風が吹いて、羽が飛んでいっちゃうで。So when it's windy, the feathers can blow away. <laughs> so there is a, a special, perfectly, and, and I mean perfectly fitting lid just to sit on top there to stop them blowing around, which is amazing. Cool. Now, this is something that is very important. You actually made this, this whole thing. From, you made、uh, the, the box yourself? Not <laughs> use Of course. Very easy. <laughs> very modest, I think. Mm, mm, mm. So、I tried many types of me in the box.、Mm. I changed the size, <laughs> changed the number. So, I don't know if I can use the box in the box. So, there were many, many、um, experimental attempts at the different、um, configurations and components, and, and plenty of things got、um, thrown on the, on the reject pile, but before. <laughs> Kind of evolving down to this wonderful system that we, we have here.、Um, Yoko, uh, kono, uh, uh, what is it? This is the material. 
えっとこれはキリキリあキリのののごめんえー、ここは杉です杉杉のうんパインあんかいパインうんうんうんオッケーパイン<笑>パインは松だねいやいやいやあシードルシードルうんそうそうシシードルあそうシードルシードルうんあすみませんちょっとああごめんなさいはいオッケーイギリスワックスあオーケーアイプあのイギリス製のワックスをで仕上げてあるブライワックスブライワックスえっとブランドは忘れたけど<笑>うんかなりいつフェイマスをユーキャンファンディーズ。OK <笑>。So the, the、uh, type of wax that the box is finished with that gives it this lovely antique、uh, look that Kurosan was very keen to, to have.、Uh, it's actually a British、um, made product, but it's, it's on sale in Japan. So he chose this to, to give it its very distinctive finish. And、uh, it's obviously very beautiful.、Um, so, hmm. あの傷がいってもあの傷,傷ができても味になるものを作りたかったのでイギリスのワックスを使いました。そう、because in use、um, these kind of boxes particularly when they're、uh, taken on on you know out in,、uh, to fish um, um, in the car and streamside collect lots of little dings and bangs and imperfections。But Kurosan felt this added, you know,、um, excellent character and meaning to to the the box itself, and he felt that this particular wax finish really helped to、um, augment that feeling and, and bring out the best in that kind of character as it kind of, I guess, accumulated experiences over time, and so that, those experiences are reflected in the in the small imperfections. But that's something to kind of celebrate rather than trying to cover up and make it too perfect. So there was Paul's first attempt at conducting an interview in Japanese. <laughs> I, I, for one, have to say I think he did pretty bloody well that day. <laughs>、um, there was a odd bit of coaching off camera at times. Oh, hundred percent.、Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you made a pretty good job of it, and that's what、uh, getting on for two two years ago now. So、uh, you've improved a lot since then as well. A little bit. Let's hope we can bring a bit more in the future. <laughs> It's just time to study. I think that's yeah, what I struggle、yeah. from really.、Um, Stay tuned because in the next episode, which will only be、uh, you know a week, week or so from now, hopefully we're hoping to get these、uh, couple of episodes back to back.、Mm. Um, we shot a secondary interview with Kurosan about some fly boxes that he makes, and they are really beautiful works of art. Yeah,、um, it's really worth sort of staying tuned for that one. Yeah, and the flies within them as well.、Yeah. You know, equally yeah. Yeah. <laughs> impressive.、Um, For now, we're just about done. We did promise you a bit of a rundown on the,、uh, you know, this offer that you can take advantage of in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, so I think if you、uh, just stay tuned, we'll actually explain the whole thing in a little separate video that just packages it up nicely,、uh, and you'll see as well that the the detail and the care and attention that Kurosan puts into his his cabinet making, his woodworking, his fly tying. That level of detail is exactly what goes into all of his fishing, so it's meticulous and it's very, very high level. The simplest things, but done to the highest level, and that's what the bundle teaches you really. So just check it out; it's a couple of minutes long. It'll run down exactly what you get. The time limited offer, so you can take advantage of it right now. Almost all anglers blow their chances without ever realizing it before they even cast their fly. So what is it about Kazuo Kurahashi's routine during the half hour immediately before he fishes that multiplies his success so dramatically? Marking another visit to our personal archive of field notes and on-stream masterclass footage, we've put a big but time-limited discount on Kurasan's secrets to avoid this all-too-common self-sabotage. Normally, this four-piece video and ebook bundle is thirty-five dollars, but for a limited time, it's available at only fifteen dollars. And for that, you can watch first-hand footage and follow along as Kurasan and Goishi give a personal on-stream coaching session to teach pupil Alan Swan. 
the world's most simple rigging up trick that significantly increases your casting accuracy and hook set percentage. Kurasan's strategies for choosing the highest percentage casting positions and how to move between those positions without sabotaging your chances. How to use objects in the stream to absorb, deflect or hide the signals that give away your position to the fish. Kurasan's recommended sequence of fly presentations and many more besides. The PDF ebook field notes analysis of the video masterclass reveals the exact telltale cues that Kurasan studies in the stream for up to half an hour before he fishes, a major source of his exceptional results. How to draw fish out of difficult fast water areas and fool them into taking an easy meal in the spot that gives you a high percentage hook set. And a complete illustrated breakdown of his box approach to strategically changing positions on stream and how to pair that with casting technique that ensures multiple alternative presentations to fish without spooking them. On top of the basic video and ebook bundle, we created two bonus PDF cheat sheets revealing Kurasan's favourite fly pattern that is a perfect match for his on-stream tactics and a checklist to make sure you understand and use Kurasan's blending in qualities that let him make multiple presentations to the same fish without spooking it. Again, Paul, myself and Alan were lucky enough to experience all this personally in Itashiro, Japan, but this bundle is your chance to enjoy those same benefits without needing to finance your own research trips to Japan. And you'll only pay 15 US dollars, that's about 11 pounds, that added in eligible countries, to immediately download and keep your unique insights. Just click the link below and enter the time limited discount coupon code NINJA to the discount code box at the checkout before the offer closes. That's a 57% saving. In other words, you are saving more than you actually pay. You also get a 100% money back 60 day guarantee if, for some reason, you decide Kurasan's tactics are not for you. So you're not risking a penny. So that's it for another episode. Um, if you've not already got this Kurasan bundle, um, I'd really recommend taking advantage of the offer. If you do have it, remember that it's been upgraded slightly. So if you've bought it on Gumroad before, check your Gumroad notifications because you will get a notification saying it's been upgraded and you can get the upgrade as well. Absolutely. And again, as ever, huge, huge thanks to our patrons without which yeah, these definitely. episodes would not exist. Um, look out for the next episode, hot on the heels of this one. We'll delve a little bit more into the world of Kurasan. Uh, hopefully, as John says, in about a week's time from the, the issue of this one, the publication mm. of this one. But until then, uh, take care and we'll see you soon. Yes! <laughs>